What's up guys, today I'm going to show you a real quick little tutorial video on Minecraft, how to make a melon or pumpkin farm. Um, I tried one of the, my earlier designs, which is this. Okay. Some gaps, the melons can grow on the side, and pistons push them out into the water. Now, while this does work, it's very inefficient. You got one, two, three, four per level of water flow which is really inefficient. And then I made this other design. Right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Total for this. Uh, you could probably do eight also. First, let me show you how it works. Um, I just recently farmed, so I'm gonna have to plant some fresh, some fresh melon. Here we go. Or pumpkins, like I said. Okay, that's how it would be if it was normally growing. Why is this pig always messing with me? Get out of here. As you can see. Let me show you underneath. You have one set of pistons that go off first. And these push all the blocks up, which unroots them. And then you have a delayer over here coming from the bottom. Actually, two delayers that lead to the top set of pistons, which push it forward into the water channel. You see, this pig is messing with me again. I'm sorry. But this pig is going to anger me. Now you leave? Yeah, you better run. So, like I said, the pistons on the bottom push up, and then these push over to here, which hits the glass and falls directly into the water. Works just about every time. Uh, also, like I said, this will work with pumpkins as well. So if you're on a server that may use pumpkins as a currency, which I've seen some, you can get an automated pumpkin farm going. With one button press. That's it. That's all I want to show you. Uh, it's a really simple design. Really easy to build. All you need is a bunch of pistons, uh, some space, some redstone, and um, whatever crop you really want to grow. This was brought to you by Fix It, Fix It, Fix It. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps. I hope you build an awesome machine. And uh, have a nice day.